Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping to the Green Aqua Gallery in Budapest, Hungary. We would like to present you this aquarium right next to me, built last November by a good friend, an old friend of ours, George Farmer. Actually, this is one of the two aquariums that we brought from the old gallery of Green Aqua from Török Bali to the new gallery in Budapest. You know me, I'm a lazy guy, so I don't really want to talk about the aquarium now, today. I'm gonna call George to see if he wants to present this aquarium to you. Hey mate, Bala. how are you? I'm really good, mate, how are you? I'm fine. Listen, I'm sitting here in this, uh, in this beautiful gallery in Budapest and I was wondering if you could help me to, to speak about this aquarium uh, that you made here last year. Do you remember that? Of course, uh, was it November last year? Yeah, it was. Would you like to come over and, and, and just help us with it? Presenting it. All right, hit it. Of course, yeah, it'd be my pleasure. Thanks. Looking forward. See ya. Yeah, me too. See you soon, mate. Here we go. He's coming, coming. George is coming, guys. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three. Listen. the shit that I do it, and I'll give my last breath to prove it. See, I'm a vet when it comes to this rap love, and if it's all I have, then I'm good, bruh. Drop the track, step back, and watch me do it. If you listen what I'm saying, I'll walk you through it. Shay Holmes, Johnny V, all night, all day, ain't nothing to it. Who knew it? Hello, everyone. My name's George. I'm very excited today. The guys here are bullying me. Please help. Hi everyone, my name's George and I'm so excited today because I am at one of my favourite places in the entire universe, Green Aqua. So, Balash has invited me over to Green Aqua to talk about this aquascape that I created last November 2017 at Green Aqua's old premises as part of a live workshop. In fact, you can probably find the link up there right now and in the description. And I deliberately wanted to use low energy plants. I used lots of cryptocorines. Unfortunately, they melted, so they're no longer in here. But most of the other plants remain. We've got Bucophalandra, we've got Anubius, we have Ludwigia palustris, we have Anubius gold, we have Anubius petite, uh, Cyphorus helferi, which was replaced, Eleocharis mini. We've also got some Ricardia camodrifolia in there. And finally, we have Hydrocotyle verticillata. So it's very interesting that I started off using loads of Cryptocorini species in here, and unfortunately, they did melt. Now, the reason I do love my crypts is because they are long-term, they're slow-growing, they're very easy, they don't demand lots of light or nutrients from the water column. But unfortunately, in this case, uh, they did mostly melt away, so the guys uh, replaced them as appropriate. Hardscape wise, we have Frodo stone. The foreground was replaced from the original sand that I used with ADA aqua gravel. So if I had to tell you anything that I don't like about the aquascape, it's probably this foreground gravel. It's quite a uh, bold, kind of contrasty texture. So if I had to uh, do anything to change it, I'd probably replace it with the original gravel I used. <laughs> The tank's fertilised with the ADA range. It has a 50% water change once a week. Lighting is the epic ADA Solar RGBs. Awesome colour rendition, as you can see. Yeah. 
Fish-wise, we've got some algae eaters. These are crossocyclia species. A range of tetras look like um, black phantoms and red phantom tetras. So the aquarium itself is 120 centimetres long, it's only 45 centimetres high, so you get this kind of panoramic effect. And I kind of wanted to accentuate that with the use of an island, so we've got lots of negative space on the left and right, we've got the Ludwigia palustris towards the centre, and that just gives this really kind of cool island composition that I really enjoy. Uh, my favourite style is a triangular, but after that it's definitely the island shape. And I'm just really proud of it because it's one of the only scapes that they've kind of transferred from their old premises to this premises. They've kept it running. It looks amazing. I think it's one of the shop's best scapes, but I'm going to say that, obviously. And yeah, it's just really, really great to see it showcased in such a beautiful gallery like this. The event itself was sponsored by Denelay, so they supplied all of the plants. Uh, Technique-wise, we're using an Eheim 2081 Pro filter, which contains the Seachem Matrix uh, biological media. We're running a, a Twin Star Steriliser on there as well, and also the Eheim Surface Skimmer, which is an incredibly popular product and perfect for keeping that surface absolutely gin clear. As with all the aquascapes in the Green Aqua Showroom, we are running pressurised CO2. In this case, it's an Aquamedic inline reactor. We're also using the ADA beetle counter, and this just provides, CO2 is just perfect for growing really healthy plants. It gets the best growth rates and the best colours as well. So I like to keep my scape simple. I like to make sure they're accessible to the general public. So when the customers come into Green Aqua, there's some amazing intricate aquascapes in here, but they're perhaps not, you know, that achievable by the beginner aquascaper. So, you know, this is a really good case of showing off. You can still create a beautiful aquascape, but you can keep it simple and therefore accessible to the beginner hobbyist. And I think that's really important to do. But I tend to use bigger pieces rather than lots of intricate pieces. I tend to use a limited range of plant species and that kind of keeps in theme with my philosophy of keeping it simple. I also like to use relatively low maintenance plants. I have aquascapes at home and because I do a lot of traveling and maintenance for other clients, it's important for me to have a sustainable layout at home. And I think this aquascape perfectly reflects that philosophy. So I wanted to take this opportunity to actually explain why I love aquascaping so much. It is a, it's a real personal story and I've, you know, I kind of feel um, appropriate to share it with you guys. I have a military background and I've experienced some quite you know, horrific things out in Afghanistan, etc. And during this period, I, I really kind of got into the hobby a lot and really focused on aquascaping and then quickly discovered the work of Takashi Amano. I opened the Nature Aquarium World Book One and it absolutely blew my mind. It was like an epiphany. It completely changed the way I perceived aquariums from being just a glass box where we keep fish to actually an underwater living slice of nature, which is just absolutely enriches my life and hopefully enriches the lives of other people. And that's why I'm so passionate about aquascaping. I really do believe having an aquascape in your home uh, can provide so many benefits to your life. It's uh, therapeutic, it teaches responsibility and how to care for something. It teaches patience as well, which is really important in this, in this age of instant gratification. And you know, it's just something really beautiful to look at, something to be proud of and something to share with other people. When I was first contacted about Green Acre, about what kind of scape I wanted to create, uh, Balash uh, told me his, one of my favourite ever scapes uh, created by myself was Harlequin's Haven, uh, which had a load of vallis in the background and a strong mid-ground and a strong foreground composition. You can see the aquascape right now and you can get this idea of the background curtain effect that the vallis area has created. 
In this case, it's been executed by the use of Cyprus Hell Ferry. Listen, you can keep the money, the cars, the clothes, and the fame for the love of the music is why I'm in this game. And you can ask my boy, I need why he doing what he doing and how is he doing it or why he do his thing. Yeah, you see, the money ain't a part of it. The fame, I never thought of it. The music is the soul and the rhythm is the... So a little bit of a story about uh, Green Aqua and myself. I actually co-founded the UK Aquatic Plant Society in 2007. Uh, and Victor and Balash were prolific posters on there, really contributing to the community. And they told me, which is a really cool you know, part of the story, is that we uh, at the UK Aquatic Plant Society actually help inspire them enough to take the plunge and create Green Aqua. So to be invited here right now, talking about escape in this beautiful showroom environment, is just, um, you know, it's just amazing. It really is. And I just thank the guys for inviting me over. And more importantly, just to experience Green Aqua as it's been growing and developing. It's just great to be part of their story. Um, if you want to find out more about aquascaping from me, check out my YouTube channel. Just search for George Farmer. I'm on Instagram as well, George Farmer Studios. And that's it, guys. Just thanks for watching. You take care. Keep on scaping. Cheerio. <laughs>